Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Axe Inventory Restore plugin. So this is a really handy plugin which allows you to restore inventories in a variety of ways using a really handy GUI. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. If we do the command forward slash axe here, that is going to allow us to grab a person's inventory history. So if we type in my username, and hit enter it's going to bring up this handy GUI now there's three buttons in here we've got the all backups we've got the deaths so four and then the manual ones which you can do via a command so if I were to look at one of these it's going to say information about it location and the dates you can see all of these are slightly different and then you can click into each of them to see what items you had at that particular point and then if we go down at the bottom we can teleport to the location where it happened and then if we go back into it again we can either replace the player's inventory with all this stuff in here or we can put it into a shulker box so let's go ahead and try that obviously when you do that you need space one space for that to be put in your inventory and then we can also replace my entire inventory but that is going to delete everything else so that way you can decide which one is more suited to you so if we do the command forward slash axe here again and then save we can go ahead and save my current inventory and that's going to be how you do a manual backup and then if we do axe here and then my name you can see there are two manual backups now so we've got the one we just created and then the previous one I made and obviously we can teleport to the location which was back here when I created it. There's only a couple of other commands we can do so there is the cleanup command which will clean up really old um, saves in the database which you can configure in the config file and then of course there is a reload command if you've made any changes. So that is where we're going to head to next. So here we are in the SMPNIC control panel you can see there's a couple of database files and two YML files we jump into the config to start with we can see what we can do in here so up at the top we've got the prefix and then how long the backup should be kept so by default it's 14 days and that will run when you start stop the server or use the command and then should we enable all categories of backups yes or no and then do you want to do an automatic backup as well so that would have a ton of player information if you want to do that and then there is also a discord add-on you can do as well and then if you wanted to host it in a particular database any of these then you could do that down below here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.20 there is a wiki and discord if you need further help from the developer but overall it's a really well made plugin and works fantastically and then down below are the permissions. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.